Hey, what's happening guys? Long time no see. Uh, you remember, probably back in February or March, uh, Unity sent me some very, very nice lab gear, which we looked at briefly in some videos. And uh, they contacted me and said, hey, we got some new stuff. You want to take a look at it too? And I said, well, well, sure. So the first we're going to look at today is the Unity UPO 1202 which is, as you can see here, a two-channel, 200 megahertz, one giga sample per second oscilloscope. Uh, has two analog channels, like I said, real-time sample rate of one giga sample per second. The maximum memory depth, is it printed on there? It's uh, 56 um, million points, which is very nice. And its uh, waveform capture rate is a half million waveforms per second. It uh, comes with a certificate of calibration very nice calibrated on a fluke 9500b oscilloscope calibrator and uh, this was calibrated uh, this year it also comes with a book of safety precautions you get uh, two probes See, there's your label here yeah UTP05, these are 200 megahertz probes. Okay. Why are you sending 200 megahertz probes with a 200 megahertz oscilloscope? Those probes are not spec for the scope. That's all I'll say about that. Um, and you also get a little bag of goodies. There it is. Uh, some different color uh, clip-ons. To identify which probe you're using, this is a uh, probe to BNC adapter. There is a uh, a spring ground there for when you're doing high frequency work, <clears throat> and a little non-conducting adjustment <clears throat> to adjust the compensation of your probes. Now I've already done it, along with run the um, the self-diagnostics to make sure everything's working good here. So I'll just hook this up and show you. Oh yes, <laughs> I was playing around with the uh, the FFT on this thing. So let me turn that off. Okay. Yeah, map is off. Okay. Then we'll hit the auto set, and we should get a nice little square wave here. Yep, very good. So, this is just kind of a uh, first look kind of thing here. Just unboxed this this morning, so I really don't have enough information to give you a full review. But I just do want to talk about some of the features. I mean, we went over the specs, so let's talk about a few more things. All right, so, you know, it should be obvious, but this is a full-sized, you know, bench-type oscilloscope here. Let's uh, get the ruler here and we'll give it a little measurement have a look so the width width is about I know you can't see it don't worry the width is about 330 height from bottom to top about 170 and the width about 100 so it, it's not, you know, a huge piece of gear, and it is um, very, very, very narrow here. More light here. Pardon that. Whoop. See, it's very narrow, but very cool. You can look here on the back. We have an auxiliary out, um, Ethernet, USB. There's a lock here. And then, you know, down lower, you have your feet. Nothing on the other side. No power switch back here. You should have heard when I, you know, when I turned this thing on, the power switch is, in fact, a clicky type switch. So, again, this is a two-channel scope. Then we have, our, we have an external trigger here, so you can trigger it from something else. We have our two-channel controls along with the uh, reference. 
control. I haven't played with that yet. And the map. I was told you I was playing with the uh, Fast Warrior Transform. Here are menus, our different menus. We have uh, Measurement, Acquire, all oh, very nice. Normal, Peak, Average, High Res. Let's put it in High Res mode. Storage, where we can uh, capture waveforms. Uh, we have Cursors, where we can do uh, manual measurements, display settings. Uh, utility menu, here's our system information. Yes, we are here at home. Simometer, they mean frequency counter. Uh, digital voltmeter, you can also turn that on. Let's see what else here? We have our math menu. Where it will do FF or okay, advance. What is advance? All oh, allow you to do some expressions. Okay, there, there you go. All kinds of expressions there. We can set a low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass, band stop. That is that is very sweet. Uh, we have here on bus. Oh, we have bus decoding. I did not know it had bus decoding built in. Very nice. Uh, Built-in help, navigation menu, default settings, and then that is the uh, the picture screen. Take a picture. And of course, you can see our uh, run stop single and auto set. So one run stop means it's just automatic. And then we have this multi-purpose knob here. We have uh, our vertical scale, vertical position, horizontal scale, horizontal position. If we take a look at our horizontal menu, we can do uh, time base XT or YT. Like that, so we can put it in a, uh, like for getting, you know, the least juice patterns. Main window. Ooh, multi scopes. Wow, very cool. So there's quite a lot going on here. And like I said, we just put this thing together. So we're going to take a look at it here, and to uh, have a look at it, we're going to use another Unity product. This is the UTG 2122X, a uh, 120 megahertz, two-channel arbitrary function generator. But it'll get its own video later on. All right, so I have the scope hooked up to the function generator. It is at uh, one megahertz, peak to peak. You can see our one megahertz frequency counter there. I don't know why I said one megahertz, peak to peak. It is at 50 millivolts, so we're getting 100 millivolts peak to peak. So keep your eye on this. I'm going to run this thing up as high as I can, which, as you know, is 120 megahertz. And as long as we don't see any big drop here on the peak to peak, we'll see how far it goes. So we're at 1 megahertz. There is 20. Everything's still looking good. 50. Looks fine. There is a hundred. Now, we do have a little drop here at a hundred. Hmm. Let's see where it actually drops. There's 90, 80, 80, 70, 60. Okay, so at 60, we're still stable. At 70, we got a slight drop. I wouldn't worry about that. At 80, now we're getting a significant drop. So here's as high as I can go, which is 120 megahertz. We've got a, a 10 millivolt drop. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's have a look at... Uh, how it handles the different waveforms. I don't expect there to be any problems at all. So sine wave. Ooh. That should be a square wave. Let me uh, turn on that frequency. There's 10 megahertz. Interesting. 
All right, let's go. Uh, all right, there's a nice ramp wave, and that is at uh, five megahertz. Let's take that up to. Come on. Okay, 5 megahertz is as high as will let me take a ramp wave. Interesting. Let's see, we have some arbitraries here. That is a capacitor charging. Again. Oh. Yeah. All right, there we're looking at a cosine. There's a Bowman window. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all these. I was just trying to give you an idea of how it handles some of the different waveforms. What I do want to look at, though, is the uh, trigger menu and see what kind of triggers we have. So edge, pulse, video, slope, run. This is very nice. Timeout duration, setup, hold, and edge pattern. Holy cow. Yeah, they really put some uh, some nice features into this, especially with the decoding. All right, so I need to spend some more time with this and get to know it a little bit better before, you know, I can tell you all about it. But I'd like to uh, thank Unity for sending these out again for us to have a look at. And uh, I'd sure like to thank you guys for sticking around and watching these videos. I hope you enjoy them. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to the patrons. And a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.